Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So this is day five uh, where we will learn what is Kiali, what is Agar. But before that, uh, as you all know, tomorrow, that means Sunday 9 p.m. We are having the Kubernetes masterclass, right? Where I will be teaching a project, live project, where which you will see like every topic of whatever the five last five days we have covered. Everything will be here. Your Istio, your Kiali, your Jager, your monitoring tools, your Kubernetes, your deployment of the application. So if you are not aware of that, I am giving the link in the description. Just go ahead and uh, hit the notification bell icon so that you are going to join tomorrow for this mega project, right? And this project can be directly kept in your resume. So make sure you are joining. Like the video if you are liking and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel, right? So let's see like what exactly this Kiali and Agar are and what are these components are doing in Kubernetes basically. Very, very simple to understand. Basically, you should be understanding for any application, right? We need a monitoring tool, yes or no, right? So similarly for Kubernetes, right? And for Istio, right? We have basically a monitoring, you can say like monitoring tool, right? I'm just telling in a simple terms, but these are like your distributed monitoring tools. Like what do you mean by distributed tracing or distributed monitoring, right? So when you mean by, what do you mean by distributed is, let's take you have an upstream application, right? And you have a downstream application. Let's take an example. Flipkart is sending the data to Amazon, right? So here Flipkart is our upstream application and Amazon is our downstream application. Now, on which end point the Flipkart is sending, let's take like update slash update when it is hitting slash update, the data is sent to Amazon. Now, tell me one thing on the back end, some person has to monitor these things. Yes or no? At what point of time my application is behaving? Uh, let's take like for this particular transaction, how much time the entire time has been taken, uh, whether this slash update is working properly or not. Uh, what are the end-to-end endpoints? What are the systems it is talking with? Flipkart systems and Amazon systems. What are the IP address of the servers? Everything will be given by your data, which you have in the monitoring tools, your Kiali and Jager. Let's go and see like what exactly these pointers are. And uh, you will be amazed to see. And these all things are very, very much important in terms of monitoring. So let's go ahead. Kiali helps to define, validate, and observe. So basically you should understand observability, right? Is the prime factor for SRE, right? SRE is basically site reliability engineering, right? So basically uh, observability is one of the important factor. Observe the connections and microservices of Istio service mesh, right? So now what does it mean? Uh, as you have seen in the in the day two class, there is something called Istio and it helps in the redirection of the uh, various kinds of applications and their endpoints, pod P1, P2, P3. So Kiali is basically, you can say like monitoring of Istio at the same time, your, uh, your uh, routing of the endpoints, how it is behaving from where to where uh, this, this routing is going, right? Let's say pod P2 has, has to send to the data point pod K2. Right. So everything this Kiali will show. Right. So basically from Istio, whatever the originating uh, traffic are there, this Kiali is managing. Right. This Kiali is managing. And for your distributed tracing, right, your latency, your security, uh, your other components are uh, are monitored by your Agar. Right. Basically Jager or Agar, anything you can call up. Right. Istio is integrated with your Kiali and Jager and Kiali is mainly for your microservices network transfer data. It will show in the dashboard like how you are going to visualize as a graph, right? Or as a histogram or as any kind of um, like you, you can say like metrics, right? So everything. So anything coming onto the Istio and redirected to your applications, it will show you the Kiali will show you. Okay. So don't worry. I will show you everything, every graph, uh, which is coming to me, right. As we go ahead now, Kiali works with Istio. I have told you, right. So Kiali 
and Istio go hand in hand in Kubernetes distribution. It visualizes the service mesh topology and provides a visibility into features like request routing, circuit breakers, request rates, latency, and more. Now, what do you mean by circuit breakers? Just an example, you have two availability zone, availability zone one and availability zone two. Now, whenever there is an issue in uh, the primary region is availability zone one and the secondary region is availability zone two. Now, whenever there is an issue in your availability zone one, automatically the circuit gets breaked. So it means uh, this acts as a circuit breaker, right? This plug gets opened and automatically all the routings will be done to your availability zone two. So it means whenever there is a fault, right? This line will have a break this will get open so that the data is not getting transferred to the next point, right? So basically that one is your circuit breakers, your request routing, as I've told you, pod P1 is sending the data to pod K1, pod P2 is sending the data to pod K2. So all those things comes under your Kiali, right? Request routing, request rates, latency, how much time uh, my data is taking, right? Everything comes under the under your Kiali, right? Now, if you see the Kiali dashboard, very, very important. Now, and everything you will learn in the tomorrow's class in the mega project. Now, Kiali dashboard looks like this. And when you go into applications, you see with the namespace, I already told you, right? Namespace is an imaginary place for all your pods to get deployed. Pod P1, P2, P3, namespace. Now, this Kiali works with the namespace uh, data points. Like you can select the namespace and based on that, all the applications gets traced here, right? So you see namespace, travel agency. And in that, what is the pod application name? These are your application names and what are the labels and everything. Now, as we go ahead, you will see something like overview, your graphs, your workloads, your services is your configuration. Now, this Kiali is very much tightly integrated with your uh, with your Istio. So what I would suggest is Istio plus Kiali is like your all rounder and it will show the network topology. Uh, what is the routing, any issues, your Istio configurations, everything. Right. And whatever there in the namespace, under the namespace, it will be monitoring the data. Right. Now, Kiali is your monitoring tool for service mesh Istio. Okay. So I will write it here. Kiali is monitoring tool for Istio. Okay, service mesh basically. Okay, all good. So let's go ahead in the in the next slide. Let me show you like what exactly you have here. So let me clear the screen. Now let's see like observability feature. Why the SRE engineers, right? The SRE engineers are very much behind your observability. Site reliability engineer. How much you are giving the uptime? I already told you 99.999 uptime is inversely proportional to downtime. It means that you are telling the downtime is le less than one second or less than three seconds maximum, right? So your downtime for the application is less than one second is what you are telling with this uh, with this number, right? So you see observability features, the graph, right? So now I am in the graph. So earlier you were in the application. Now I am in the graph. The graph of the Kiali provides visualization of the topology of service mesh. Now you see it shows you which services communicate with each other. I told you, right? Pod P1 is continuously talking with pod K1. See guys, from here, my request got started. It came to product page. It go. It has went to V1 version. Then it is going to here. Then it is going to here. And you see, guys, how much the beautiful graph, the end-to-end -end distributed systems of microservice. Let's consider service one, microservice two, microservice three. See how much the routing you are able to see. Suppose a microservice is down. Suppose this is down, right? Now request will not go here, right? And instead it will show. That is what circuit breaker I told you. The request will go here right? It will be coming in the red. It will tell that this is failed boss, right? Failed. Now in the hands-on in tomorrow's class, you will see all those things. So don't worry about that, right? So graph is very much important, which shows end-to-end -end routing, end-to-end -end routing management. And if it is breaking, let's take here, there is a break, circuit breaker gets opened and all the routing will get here and it will be in the red color, right? The Kiali shows that to us. So with this, you will understand that, okay, boss, I need to go ahead and see what happened to this service. Anyways, there is Prometheus, there is Grafana also, which tells us uh, with the alerts, but on the monitoring, on the observability, we are talking about observability here, right? Right. How easily you can observe your systems, right? 
So that is what, which helps you to visually identify problem areas and quickly pinpoint issues, right? And Kiali provides high level graphs, which is very, very much important. As I've told you, you need to understand the circuit breakers issues or latency issues or anything, right? So let's go ahead and see like what exactly the next things are kept for you, right? Now graph, right? Health of the graph. This is what I told you, right? Uh, so see here you have something called failure. Now it will show as a red, right? And you will be able to understand that there is some issue with this particular service. You need to go and check, right? You need to go and check. So that is where the important things will come into picture. And you see here, the request per second, the latency and everything is shown. It means Kiali will show you the distributed uh, tracing. Along with that, it will also show you uh, the entire schema of the network flow from point A to point Z. Every uh, point your application talks to other applications and it will also show you the entire graph structure, right? So I hope I am making it sense very, very important. So I hope uh, you are able to understand like what exactly I'm telling. See, I also told you, right? Kiali also shows the application metrics. See, JVM metrics, Java virtual arguments, right? Java virtual arguments. Basically, this JVMs helps your applications to run right? Your applications to run. So Java virtual memory, JVM is basically Java virtual memory. So, so basically this is like your memory management and you give like hyphen 2048M, right? Or hyphen 4048M. So basically 4GB of memory, 2GB of memory from the pod. Let's take the pod is having 8GB of memory. From that, you give 2GB of memory to your application to run. Very, very much important. This is your JVM. And Beyond if it is goes, right, right, your application is asking for 2.1 GB, then the application gets failed, right? So see JVM metrics, outbound metrics, inbound metrics, traffic, JVM pool metrics, everything. See guys, memory used, memory committed, everything it shows and very beautiful data it will be giving. I hope I am making it sense. Let's go ahead and see what are the other things stored for you. I will just make it clear here. Everything is on the screen. Uh, Kiali basically gives you the the metrics of the application or the pod also JVM metrics you can see right and let's go ahead with the next set of things so basically I, I hope I am making it sense the next concept is your architecture of agar now let's talk what is agar basically right agar is all uh, all uh, uh, it is very much helpful in your distributed uh, tracing right and it will clearly show from point a to point z at every point of time, how much is my latency? What are the milliseconds of time it took to reach point A? Let's take point B is in between, right? And like this, like it will tell every point, like what is my latency here? How many milliseconds? What is latency? Uh, how much time it is taking, right? Latency is basically slowness in the application or point A to point B, how much time my application is reaching, reaching right? So all those things comes into picture. Now see, when you install Istio, the default parameter comes like Kiali and uh, Agar also is installed uh, defaultly, right? Now you see host or container. Now this is your container. Let's assume your, this is your container. And I have also told you the container, the, uh, what is that? The app, sorry, the application A1 on top of that container C1 and on top of that pod P1, right? So all these things are there. So you see container C1, application A1. So in Jager, when you install Jager, every application let's take i am having java application right so basically this java application have to be integrated with jager client now what is client basically i would like to tell you client is a person who who gets tightly coupled with your application right and it tries to extract the data right the client is something which sits on top of your application and it always tries to get the metrics from the application right now very beautiful see blue color things are components of jager so listen carefully with me so jager client if you see this is the main component which sits with your application now if i consider the java application i need to install some libraries uh, in the you can say like pom.xml and automatically i need to call those dependencies into my code for which i need the metrics right i need the end to end solution for that now jager client is sending to jager agent so jager agent is the one which collects all the data from your application right so application has a client and client talks to agent right client and server relationship you remember the client of 
your application sends the data to the server. So Jager agent is there. So now Jager agent pushes the data to a stream, which is your Jager collector. Now someone has to be collecting, right? My application is here, which is sending the data, which is throwing the data. Agent takes the data and it again throws from the container to the outside. So Jager collector, you see, from the container to the outside. So similarly, there is one more application A2, which has the, uh, there is one more application, let's take A2, which has the Jager client JC2 and Jager agent JA2. It will also send to the Jager collector. So all the metrics from various applications is coming to your collector. Correct? Able to understand? Once the collector takes the data Kafka, in our next classes, we are having Kafka also. Very beautiful concept. Very simple concept. Now, Kafka is something uh, which is uh, acts as your queue management system. Q -U -E, Q -U -E, queue management system. So basically what it does, right? Queue management system. So Kafka basically helps your systems to like first in, first out, right? First in, first out. The, the data which comes in first in the batch format. Let's think like here, the batches are coming, right? Batch one student, batch two student, batch three student. Like as I have completed my three batches in ultimate DevOps mastery course. So like that, right? Now there is a batch coming. This Kafka takes that batch and processes that batch and gives to the ingester. Now in this ingester, there is an index. Now what happens, right? Every application will have an index associated with it, right? Internally. And that is how this, this data is segregated from application A1 and application A2, the index one and index two. So each application will have index one and index two. And that's how the data is sent to the indexer and indexer sends the data to some Cassandra database. Let's assume that Cassandra events. Cassandra is events based data guys, even whenever you see some events are coming. So you need to use Cassandra. My SQL database is your transactional database. Whenever you see some transaction is happening, whenever you want to store the data of the transaction, transactional data, right? Uh, uh, the username, the customer name, uh, at what point of time he has transacted, what amount he has taken. So all those things is basically my SQL and uh, your, uh, your event-based uh, data you store in Cassandra. And the Jager query is the one which takes the query and shows it to the Jager UI. I hope I am making it sense. Tomorrow's project, we will see everything in depth, guys. Okay. And uh, that's how we will be learning good, good things, right? In the in the coming days, I hope I am making it sense. And do join tomorrow uh, session six, uh, which means your day six, Project end-to-end -end project, I will be showing and I will be giving the document also, right? In the Agar, Agar collector, Agar client, Agar agent, everything we will see tomorrow in the hands-on. So like the video, if you like the content and share the channel link with your friends, it takes literally so much effort to make this kind of presentations and show it to you and then uh, tell in front of you, everyone, as you all have asked for the recorded videos. So I'm trying my best to help you all. Stay safe and do join tomorrow's session. Take care. Bye. This is Singham signing off.